now that we have WebJet Admin successfully installed and launched, our next task is to get devices discovered and populated inside of our software. There's a couple ways we can go about doing this. The first being discover devices on my network under the common tasks tab on the right hand side, or you can go up to the tools menu and hit device discovery. Once we do that, we can select whether or not we want to schedule our discovery to occur at a later time. Like if we want this tool to discover devices during the off hours so that uh, it does not have any chance of interrupting anything, as well as we can select how we want the tool to go about finding our devices. Because I am going to be scanning for two specific IP addresses, I am going to select specified addresses as my option. From here, the tool is going to ask me to pick a list of IPs to scan. From here, this will be blank for all of you, but from here, we can go ahead and hit Edit Addresses, New List. Now we can give this list a name. I'm going to call this one Print3. And then I'm going to hit the Add button so I can type in the IP addresses or host name of the devices that I want this tool to scan for. Five. And then I just have to plug in this one. Okay. Now I have my two addresses put into this list. I can go ahead and hit OK. And I just have to hit OK again. And now I can select print three as the list for this software to scan for. Now, I have not set up any SNMP credentials, nor have I changed it from their defaults. So I am going to select the Do Not Use Credentials button for this discovery. OK, everything looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Start. And now this can sometimes take a little bit of time. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording and come back once it has found my two devices. OK. So our discovery has been completed successfully. It has found both the devices that I was scanning for. So we can go ahead and hit done. And now I have my two LaserJet devices populated in the All Devices tab.